What up, what up, Snake Gang? It's me, your boy, Fine Like a Mamba. You already know, man. Where are we? We're in a building, bro. In a building, in a building, guys. Before I even get into today's video, make sure that you click on the what? The red button, the subscribe button. You like this video? You share it with your friends at home, man, because you don't wanna be at the top alone. You wanna invite your friends to be with you at the top. So, guys, let's get into this today's video. So, guys, today's video is all about psychology. Or psychological tips that made me to be a consistent trader because there was a time where by in trading I was just going in the market and I'm analyzing 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 and then I'm executing like I didn't know anything about formal I didn't know about discipline and all those kind of psychology tips that I'm gonna be dropping those nuggets but I didn't know about them and it was so influencing myself because I didn't see some of the things that I was doing wrong because I didn't even know about them so it's very important that you know about these things you filter them out and then you work on them like a laser focusing on like laser focusing on those psychological tips that i'm gonna be dropping now because many of you guys are just trying to find your inner self but then again you really, you really don't know what is that you have to find because you don't know what you're looking out for guys so it's very important that you find your inner self you work with what can what works best for you and then you try to eliminate what doesn't work for you so guys listen now i'm dropping the first tip so the first psychological tip that one must have into uh, or to being a consistent trader is discipline. So guys, being a disciplined trader is very important. Trading, uh, trading or foreign uh, exchange as a business is very very important. Remember, when you are buying a um, when you are buying a, a six pack of milk, I always make an example with this. When you are buying a six pack of milk, uh, then uh, maybe four of those milk milk are bought, and then two of those milk, uh, then what happened? They they get rotten or they get stolen. Whatever happens doesn't matter, but they just disappear. So what 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 happens there is that you see that okay, uh, you you've lost two of those milk, and then you, four of those milk they've been bought. So you can see that okay, business is still going. You've made some profit from the four that you bought. You lost two okay that's fine every business has its own ups and down same thing applies to what to trading you're gonna lose some of the days and you're gonna win some of the days let's say you execute six trades and you lose two of those trades you've lost two percent and you win four of those trades you've made above above two percent you've made probably maybe what five ten percent i don't know what you are you are, are on those positions but then just to make an example to say even if you are risking even if you are going one is to one if you're risking um if you took six trades in one is to one, uh, you're still up about what? About 2% uh, because the 2% goes and take the other 2%. So you're still up for 2%. You see, even if you're having the, the worst RR that you can have, which is like one is to one, I don't believe that's a good RRR. That is why I'm saying it's the worst. But you're still in profit, you understand? So you see, guys, that it's very important that as a trader, you treat trading as well as a business so that you know that, okay, it's part of the game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Business has its own ups and downs. You now some day is gonna be a drought day whereby nobody's gonna be coming to buy in your shop. Some days gonna be a good day whereby everyone just got paid. Same thing applies to the market. Some of the weeks it's gonna be a drought week. Some of the weeks just gonna be blues after blues after blues. So guys, it's very important to treat forex as a business. Stop having this mindset to say you wanna make a million today, you wanna make ten thousand in one day. Don't be like that. Okay, you can't do that depending on how big is your capital as well as well but don't have this mindset of you're gonna turn 500 rent into 1000 into into 10,000 in one day like that that's so crazy man like that's so crazy i'm not saying it's impossible it is possible with so much poor risk management probably going full margin and then yeah i'm still having a lot of holding to do cause and scaling in to do but i feel like that is not a consistent way to trade so that's why i'm not advising anyone to do that uh, tip number two that i'm going to be going about is routine guys routine is very important especially developing a morning a morning and an evening routine once you have your morning routine guys it helps you prepare and know what is that you have to like to accomplish for that what for that day you know that okay in the morning i wake up i do this i do this i do this i do this you even feel good about yourself because you've already achieved some of your goals that you have for your what for your morning routine you know that you have to go jogging or wow, you are taking your box you know that you have to uh, go to the gym you are taking a box you know you have to go to swimming go you have to go to fetch your kid from school or drop your kid to school like those kind of things you understand you are just taking your box you even feel good wow everything is just smooth and feeling good once you have a perfect and a nice morning eventually your day is gonna be perfect everything is just gonna keep on doing what flowing 
And then once you have your, your, your morning routine, evening routine is very important as well to prepare pre-plan for what for the next day and to evaluate re-evaluate the current day that you are in or what didn't you do what did you do how did you do it what's the progress and all those things that's that's trying to track your progress for like daily moves and all that it's very very important so the next tip that i'm going to be talking about is risk management so i know some of you saying how is risk management uh, having a relationship to psychology guys it is psychology because you can take one uh, one loss like one uh, loss of like maybe three percent now psychology is just fucking around with you and then now you're just trying to uh, enter those positions now you are over risking and all those things because psychology messed with you so it's very important that you become so disciplined with what your risk management your first goal when you enter or when you start trading is not to make money but is to protect what your capital from trading so once you know that you are able to protect your capital from being uh, taken by the market into like uh, making uh, not making anything uh, obviously in the beginning but then going forward then you see you know that there's a way forward there's progress because now you are able to protect so from protecting what's next you being able to make money but making money shouldn't be your like your top or your first goal to say i want to make money uh, even if you don't even know how to protect your money how you're gonna how you gonna do that like how can you say you want to fight with someone when you don't know how to block those punches they're just gonna keep on coming at you keep on coming at you just gonna have very big face with so many uh, injuries and because you just like how can i punch how can i punch you shouldn't be focusing on that focus so much on protecting yourself which is protecting your what your capital so the next tip that i'm gonna be going which is tip number four is formal fear of missing out guys this requires a lot of what of lot 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 of, of discipline guys you have to be a disciplined trader for you to like understand this kind of uh, psychology tip that i'm dropping here like you must know where you're looking to trade if the trade has gone you know making peace with that trade or okay fine this trade has gone has left me how can i catch the next trade where am i looking to enter where are my key zones and all that that is you being a disciplined one disciplined trader instead of you just going around and then be like oh i saw this move it's gonna go down and now it's already gone let me enter so that i don't miss out and then you find yourself doing what find yourself entering just exactly where price is just retracing and you find yourself on a big 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 drawdown you don't want that happening and your rr becomes so poor because now you have a very big stop losses compared to what to your, uh, your, your, your your target so you don't want those kind of things happening to you so make sure that you don't fall uh, under to be a victim of what of fear of missing out so dropping the last tip of the day which is create a trading plan guys create a trading plan know what are things that you have to tick in your what in your in your system before you can even execute a position no you're looking at market structure uh, like order flow where the market is going you're looking for your key zones or your key areas looking to like maybe modify or refine your other blocks whatever you're looking for liquidity imbalance all those kind of things that you might look for before you execute a trade put those things down write them down and you know that okay these are my tick boxes and when time goes on you won't have to like go through that box every time you execute a trade some of the things they're just gonna happen uh, on your subconscious mind but when you're starting get yourself familiar with those what with those uh, ticking boxes like system whereby you are taking your trading plan everything like candlestick confirmation this is what we're looking for doji candlestick bullish engulfing bearish engulfing this is what you're looking for those kind of things guys they help you to reach what to reach your level of consistency so guys make sure that if you like this video if you feel like you like this video drop a comment to say mamba i liked this video and also like this video and also uh, subscribe don't forget to subscribe guys on our youtube channel so it's me your boy Falaki mamba i am out of the building let there be peace in the middle east let our brothers and sisters be safe and i'm introducing goliath the lion